Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday expert interview. Let's get started. Tom, for most people, uh, media optimization selection equates with increasing titer and cell density. How important is, in your view, media optimization is to ensuring good product quality? Well, it is a major factor in influencing product quality. We don't have all of the cause and effects relationships, you know, determined because it's a very complex problem to solve. However, we've had good success actually in using media, media components, concentrations to influence product quality. Yeah. Like post-translational. Exactly. So we have, actually we have uh, customers come to us and say, please, can you help me change my glycan profile? whether it's fucosylation, galactosylation, some other feature of the glycan, or even things like charge variants, you know, or uh, acidic versus basic species. Is there a balance to be had in terms of quality of the product versus quantity? So sometimes, and this is when the hard decisions are made, is when we're kind of balancing one thing against the other, right? And this is, this is the engineering, because the idea is to find the optimum balance and so, for example, if we have production rate that's too high, perhaps we get a high mannose form of the glycan because it's, it's an unprocessed form of the glycan. And so this, I think, can result from pushing too hard on the productivity of the cells. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.